Hi, this is Crystal from DaughtersOfTheCreator.com, and I'm continuing to go through my book, Seriously God, and I'm on the third chapter, Glimpses of Grace. And today's, I want to, uh, today's study is called The Power of Contentment, based on Philippians 4, 11. I have learned in whatever situation I am to be content. I heard this poem uh, years and years ago, and I want to share it. And it's called What I Wanted, and the author is anonymous as far as I know. And it goes like this. It was spring, but it was summer I wanted, the warm days and the great outdoors. It was summer, but it was fall I wanted, the colorful leaves and the cool, dry air. It was fall, but it was winter I wanted, the beautiful snow and the joy of the holiday season. It was winter, but it was spring I wanted, the fragrant blossoming of nature. I was a child, but it was adulthood I wanted, the freedom and the respect. I was 20, but it was 30 I wanted, to be secure and sophisticated. I was middle-aged, but it was 20 I wanted, the youth and the free spirit. I was retired, but it was middle-aged I wanted, the presence of mind without restrictions. My life was over, but I never got what I wanted. That is what it's like to be discontented. To say to God, as soon as I get what I want, God, then I'll be content. Or as I always said growing up, oh, I'll be happy when, I'll be glad when. And all those types of discontentment. And God's like saying to each one of us, I want you to find your contentment right here, right now with me. Not when I get married or when I get divorced or when I grow up or, or whatever it is. God's saying, right now, here today, I want you to be content. And, you know, contentment comes with maturity because you begin to know that God is enough. And he's more to you than any, anything else, anything anybody can give to you. And the power of contentment is powerful because when you're content, you're not tempted to go into the store and just buy everything that everybody else has. You're content with the clothes you have. You're content with the house you live in. You're content with the spouse you're married to. You're content with life. And it doesn't mean that, well, content means I just have to settle for whatever. No. Contentment is God revealed the joy to me. Re re reveal the relationship to me. Reveal the good things in my life so that I can enjoy them to the fullest while I have them. Because you know what? Nothing is promised to us. People aren't promised to be with us forever. Things aren't promised to be with us forever. So we can enjoy the life that God has given us. If you ever find yourself struggling with contentment, here's what's helped me quite a bit. I look around and I begin to thank God for the things around me. My children, my home, my job, my friends. Things and people that we take for granted every single day. And God's like, if you just saw how good you got it, you would never complain and you would never struggle with discontentment. This is Crystal from DaughtersTheCreator.com and I encourage you to spend today just thanking God for everything that, you, that comes to mind. Just thank Him and you will not fall into the pit of discontentment. Have a blessed day. Bye for now.